Hello ladies and gents, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials out there. Today I'm back in business and I'm going to be showing you a great tip in Photoshop in order to change the eyes of your model with a professional and a much more better way. You know, through the years of uh, YouTube I have seen so many eye-changing tutorials and I know that this subject has been uh, covered uh, so much but uh, I will try today to show you uh, a new approach in this uh, subject and I will just try to uh, make this change of the eye much more dynamic. So I will use some adjustment layers and uh, I will try to build upon the base of the eye to change the eye, the color of the eye uh, at all. So this uh, brown eye, it will be a different eye in the end of this tutorial. And of course, this effect that uh, I'm about to show you, uh, it can work great with uh, brown eyes, with green eyes, with blue eyes, but not with black eyes. We want to have um, color information and the black eyes don't have such a color information. Black eyes are pretty eyes, but I'm sorry, my friends, uh, you have to be with the same eyes. But if you have uh, other color, let's say brown, as the example, you will be ready to change your eyes to blue, let's say, with uh, no problem at all. So let's start. The first step for a successful uh, eye changing is the correct selection of the eye. So we will just take the right tool, which is the elliptical marquee tool. This is the right tool, my friends. And then the other big part of a good selection, it is the feather. The feather will, um, will help us create a selection with smooth edges. We don't, have to, we don't uh, really want uh, hard edges in our selection of the eye, so a feather at about 5 pixels until 20. Of course, it depends from the size of the photograph. My photograph, it is a tiny photograph, so 5 pixels will do the job for me. And of course, I will just then click and drag from the center of the eye and go outside holding Alt and Shift Option and Shift in Macintosh. And then I will just leave it there. And afterwards, I will just uh, hit the right arrow, maybe a couple of times in order to select it even better. And then I will just need to go and take away this upper selection because we don't have eye information into the upper part of the eye. So the best and easiest way to do that it is to is this through the select the lasso tool. So I will just select the lasso. I will just hit the subtract button, and then I will go. I will just zoom with Control Plus. And then I will go and subtract this from the selection, my friends, and we're good to go. So I have my eye and only my eye selected. And of course, the selection, it is smoothed into the edges and I'm ready for the next step. So this step, it is really crucial in order to have a successful eye color change. But you know, uh, the next steps are, uh, you know, different than the rest of the tutorials out there. So now I will show you my trick. Uh, I will go and I will just come here into the adjustments and I will just hit the black and white adjustment layer. Right away, my eye is desaturated, which means it doesn't have color. And uh, that means that we can start from the same base with all the eyes. You know, it doesn't matter if you have uh, blue, green, brown, whatever eye. Uh, when you have, once you put the black and white uh, adjustment, everything is uh, actually gray. And so we have the same base for every eye. But the black and white doesn't only convert the color to gray, but as well, and also it converts actually the brightness through the channels of the lowered layer. So this selection of the eye has a brown, let's say, color, but if you see it clearly, it has uh, red parts and yellow parts. It doesn't have green, cyan, blue or magenta. So by altering the reds and yellows, we will brighten some specific parts of the eye. Let's see that. If we'll just take this slider and move it to the left, I will make my eye black 
and of course it looks scary but we don't really want to make uh, demonic eyes today so i will just go here and i will probably go at about 35. Uh, most of the times I am lowering, I'm uh, actually I'm making lower, uh, making darker, darker the, um, the base of the eye and the highlights, I am just make them brighter. So you see, my eyes now are brighter in the highlights and darkened into the shadows. Wonderful. And so my eye looks much more dramatic than the first you see that? Wonderful. And now I have a great base uh, to build upon with color. The next step, it will be uh, to reselect the selection by control click the mask of black and white. You see that? And then I will go and I will uh, select actually a solid color. And then I will go, I will hit OK, no problem. And then I will just go and uh, change this from normal to color. Of course, the white it is not an appropriate color for the eye. So I will go, will double click, and now I will just change this from white to let's say blue or something. So my eye now it is blue, but it is you know uh, really blue, let's say ridiculously blue. So uh, I will just go here, let's say maybe more to the gray area. You see that? Wonderful. And now the fun begins, my friends. Uh, I will go and I will uh, control click again the eye and I will go and select the curves. The curves, of course, can bring me brightness in order to make my eye much more brightened. You see that? Wonderful. And now I can just alter the masks in order to make some brightened parts, some darkened parts, and also to change the uh, in-between or the start or the end color of the eye. So let's see that. So this is the first step. You can stop here if you like, but uh, I don't really recommend that because we can do much more better things afterwards. So if you want to follow me, just do that. I will now uh, duplicate the curves by hitting Ctrl J and now you can see the hand of the photographer <laughs> okay but uh, the main trick here is to just go and alt click the mask in order to see uh, as you can see the white part which is the visible part of this layer so I will go now I will select the lasso I want to have feather at about five and I will go and actually I want to come back and I want to pass from here in order to maybe actually control D deselect it. I want to pass from the outside of the eye, let's say here. If I will go back again and hit alt click, you will see that I have selected this inner area, but actually I want to keep only the outside white and paint inside with black. So I will go and uh, paint this by edit fill and content black. Wonderful. And then I will go to select, deselect, and then alt click again, option click in Macintosh. And now I have the total control of the outside of the eye. Check this out. You see that? Wonderful. Check this out. A wonderful eye, really dramatic. And of course, it used to be blue, my friends, but now it's really shocking blue. It used to be actually brown, I'm sorry, but now it is shocking blue. And I can do the same thing for the inner part. So I will go now, I will just hide the outside part. I will go to the base of this uh, brightness curves adjustment layer. I will duplicate this one by hitting Ctrl J. And now I will go. I will uh, select only the inner part, so we'll go like that. Wonderful. And then I will go and uh, I will alt click this one. This time I want to only have this uh, white and the rest black. So I have to find a way to invert the selection in order to select the outside and keep this uh, white. So there is a a special let's say uh, menu uh, item inside Photoshop which is the select and inverse and now I have all the other but this one selected I will go to edit fill black wonderful control D command D to deselect and then alt click again 
And so now I can just go here and make my inner eye much more darkened. You see that? And of course, if I take out the curves, you have a dramatic eye, really dramatic. And of course, now I can just come here and make the things much more, uh, you know, not so uh, tough for my uh, actually uh, eye, or I can make them really dramatic. And of course, with the same way, I can change the color of the eye. So I will go to the color fill. I will duplicate this one, Control J, and then I will just go to the mask. I want to change the outside of this. So I can just come here and draw again a mask and do the same thing again and again, but I can do a much more smart thing. I can just duplicate or actually uh, take this mask of the curves, remember this one, and uh, take it, drag it by uh, holding at the same time the Alt click option in Macintosh and drop it over the mask of the new color fill. And I will just replace the mask. So you see now, wonderful. Actually, I don't want to take this out. I just want to uh, replace this one. So copy and replace, not uh, cut and paste here. And then I can come here and make the eyes a different color. Let's say you see that maybe green or something. Of course, it's going to be really crazy, but you understand and you know how it goes now. Maybe here it's going to be okay. Hit OK, and then I will go to the inner part. I will create a new color fill again from the base, Control J, and now we'll just replace the inner mask. So I will just go to the uh, right curves adjustment with the inner actually mask. You see that? And then I will just hold the Alt before I will click and drag, and then I will paste over here in order to replace this one and be able to change the eye, the color actually from this really easy. You see that? I think it's pretty good. Of course, I can do a lot of things or I can just stay like this. Wonderful. So I have a tricolor, let's say, uh, tricolor, whatever uh, you, you know, eye. And of course, then I can just select all the edits. I will put those inside the group by selecting all and uh, hitting in the keyboard Control G, Command G in Macintosh. I will name uh, this folder with the code name I. And then I will just put a layer mask over the folder. I will take my brush. I will uh, have the brush at 100% uh, for the start. And then I will go and I will smooth with black color, pass over the mask and hide some extra. You see that? some extra part, parts of the color dye in order to make it, to blend it better and make it much more realistic. Wonderful. And then I will just lower my opacity at about 30 and I will just make a much more uh, bigger paint in order to blend the eye even better. And you see that? It goes good and goes better. So my eye now, looks dramatic and looks wonderful. Maybe here I have to take out again some of the blue. So we'll just take this to white. I will just uh, increase this at 100% and I will go back and take this one. But you see that doesn't really bother me so much. So I'll just go to 30, maybe try just a tiny bit in order to take out maybe this one and then change this to black again in order to hide some parts. And you got it. I mean, it's so easy. And then if you like, you can uh, put inside uh, maybe a little tone of the original color. Check this out. I will go to 100%. Uh, so this is my the last inspiration of this tutorial. I will go and just paint over this area in order to bring out this uh, part. OK, it's not so good. And then I can just go here and do that. But mm, that's not really good. Maybe if, if I will just come here and uh, feather this one, maybe it will go better. You see that? There is no end in this, my friends. So uh, if you like, you can just keep that or you can just stay with this one. The last trick is the reduction of the opacity from the main folder. So the opacity can be reduced at about 85, let's say. But uh, I think I will keep it full. 
100%. So my eye used to be like that. Actually, it used to be like that, and now it's like that. With simple steps, I managed to convert a brown eye to a turquoise, uh, blue, green, whatever uh, eye in a matter of minutes inside Photoshop. And of course, once you have this uh, crazy base, you can just add a hue saturation and then play with a hue in order to make your eye even more crazier. Of course, now I'm just making crazier also the skin tone. So I will go, I will just uh, take the color fill or the base of the black and white mask and alt click and drag and drop it over the hue saturation replace it and now i'm working only through the eye so you see that you can just make edits no problems so now you have eyes that you can admire and of course eyes that they are not flat they're really sexy and of course they can be really readjusted easily with the hue saturation. I'm Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials. If you liked my tutorial, please like my channel, support me in order to make more tutorials. If you didn't like my tutorial, please like it again, uh, but send me a little message anyway in order to help or improve my English generally or improve my tutorial generally. I'm here and I'm listening all the time your voice. So like my work, subscribe and of course don't forget to share. Have fun my friends and keep photoshopping.